explain some of the things and strategies that I do to help my clients. Uh, I know there's varying degrees of aptitude as far as internet marketing in this room, so I'm going to be covering a lot of the basics. We provide today. highly effective uh, internet marketing solutions to businesses to help them establish a dominant online presence in their local uh, markets. My focus, and you probably gathered by my name, Local Ingenuity, my focus is marketing your business online on a local Why level. Why is it important to implement effective search engine marketing? When was the last time any of you picked up a Yellow Pages to search for a product or service? When was the last time you went to Google or Bing to uh, search for a product or service? Last two weeks, three weeks, today. That Use yourself as an example. Do you scour through three, four, five pages of search results to find the uh, dog groomer or the uh, plumber that you were looking for? People say, yeah, well, I put my company name and I, I showed up on the first page. And uh, my question to you is, is that effective search engine marketing? Uh, unless you know what keywords you're actually targeting, it's almost like throwing darts with a blindfold on. You got to know where the target is before you can start You're not on the cards. first page, and even more, uh, more specifically, on the top half of the first page of the search results. It is not a matter of are you losing business. You are definitely losing business. It's just Clicks. a matter of how much. If you're the number one spot on the first page of Google, roughly 42% of the time your uh, listing is being clicked on. Drop down to the fifth spot, and you're getting less than 5% of the clicks. That's significant. And if you're on page two, you might as well. These listings up here, is everybody aware that those are advertisements? In our opinion, the map area is uh, prime real estate if you're a local business appealing to a local I can market. make this really, really simple and easy for you. If organic rankings is what you're mainly focused on, there's three things. Uh, actually, let me, let me take a step back. There's probably 80 things that are important, but there's three that are real important. To get your actual website ranked high in the search engines would be your tags. And I'm going to show you some examples of what I'm talking about. Title tag, which is what you're telling Google your uh, your website is about, uh, your meta description, and your and your keywords. This is generally how a website designer will pass the website to you. They'll ask you to give them a bunch of verbiage about what do you want on the home page, what do you want on your services or your product page, what do you want on the contact page, and as far as the back end stuff, that's uh, just generic home page. The about us page, more than likely, if we go to it, is going to the title is going to say about us. What this should say, now that this particular website is a, a website that sells sailing shirts, um, it should probably have something to do with sailing shirts, right? Custom sailing shirts or whatever. I haven't done any keyword research on this, but that's, uh, uh, is everybody following me there? This is a monstrous mistake that a lot of website owners make. On the page itself is equally important, and what you should see is a whole lot of keywords, and, and not a whole lot of pictures necessarily, but a whole lot of keywords that relate to the keywords you're trying to write for. Another fantastic tip, if you're on the part of the curve where you haven't picked out your domain name for your website, it's a fantastic idea. A lot of people want their domain name to be uh, my company's XYZ Widgets. You know, you want to be XYZWidgets.com, which is fantastic. But uh, if you were, for example, one, one of the websites that... Um, uh, my wife has, uh, Terry Fitzgerald, uh, is virginiablindsandshutters.com. The keywords, blinds, shutters, are right in the domain, and that gives you more weight and more authority. Uh, anybody familiar with the term ad blindness? Uh, in general, most people these days know that those are ads. And think about when you do searches. I never look at the very top ones because the reason I'm doing a search is I want to find something that's relevant and useful to whatever my search query. The reason that Google came in after a lot of other people and, and got such a large market share is their intent from the beginning has, to been, has been to provide relevant and useful information. And that's one of the reasons why you've got to strategize correctly, follow the rules, and try to actually help Google give this, uh, the searcher what they're looking for. You want to provide relevant and useful information for Person the first thing Google is going to search for is whatever the most uh, center, uh, geographic center of Richmond would be. That's going to be the first criteria that it uses to filter the results that it gives you. But that's not the, the most important. 150 things I do for clients of mine. We claim all their business listings on Bing, Google, and Yahoo. We make sure that the description and the uh, keywords that are put into the description are all very highly relevant and, and terms that are getting a lot of traffic. We populate the listing with uh, lots of relevant, useful data. We make sure that it's populated with a lot of pictures, some videos. If you don't have video, we create video and get it up there. What I really want to emphasize you guys is you want to claim it, you want to populate it, and, and, and the first thing you probably want to do is, is to determine what keywords you're, you're targeting, right? So when you go to populate it, you populate it with the keywords that are getting traffic. Did you 
know that um, the misspelling, L-I-M-O-S-I-N-E, gets a million searches a month? <laughs> now, I mean, if you were in the limousine business, uh, you'd probably want those people calling you too, right? I, I highlighted it on a, a, a minute ago about Google's goal was to give the user relevant and useful information. So the more relevant and useful you can make your business look to Google, the more likely they're going to serve up your information to the person it, doing a search. It basically just looked like a big mess out on the internet. We got everything uniform and listed correctly the same place. Um, I think Google will allow you up to five videos about your business, um, up to ten pictures. Uh, they've got, I think, five reviews. Most but I of mean, the time, the people that tell me that internet marketing doesn't really make an impact on their business is people that are not effectively marketing their business online. I can tell you window pros because, again, I, I'm behind the scenes. $402,000 in business last year. 66% uh, of that came directly from internet sales. And I track everything.